Hello everyone, Silverstruck here. Welcome to the Silverstruck channel and episode number 24 of Channel Chat Wednesdays. I do have a couple channels to go over in this video, but before I talk about those channels, I would like to share with all of you some recent silver pickups. So let's get right into it. There are many ways that I enjoy acquiring silver and gold. My all-time favorite way, hands down, is going to the local coin shop, or the LCS for short. I like everything about it, from interacting with the employees there, to checking out all the gold and silver in the display cases, to holding my precious metal, purchasing my precious metal, and walking out the door with it immediately. So it's a great experience, a great way to do it. If you have a local coin shop, I highly recommend uh, that you make a connection there uh, with your local coin shop. Another, another way that I purchase my silver and gold is from the online bullion dealers. I know a lot of you out there do that as well. And for me, that has a lot to do with availability and selection. Your local coin shop will only have a finite amount of PMs in the store. So you're only going to have so much gold and silver, whatever is typically in the store is what they have. Where the online big bullion dealers have a much broader uh, scope of what they're carrying. So I will purchase uh, from them, especially if I'm looking for something that's uh, specific. Another way that I like to acquire my precious metals is from the community here on YouTube. Either privately, peer-to-peer -peer purchasing, or the, uh, the auctions. So one of those auction sites that you can go to would be this one right here, SC Stacker. There are many good ones uh, here on YouTube to check out. It's not your least expensive way to go, but you can make an awful lot of really nice connections in the community and participate in the, uh, the live chat that's going on at the same time, so I do enjoy the experience. Let's check out what I was able to pick up. And I picked up these, these five generic bars uh, from Silvertown. So these are Silvertown Mint. And they are your most generic of generics. So here at the top, it says United States of America. The bottom, in God we trust. And as we flip the bar over, it simply says Liberty. And then, of course, it has weight and fineness, uh, which is a, a big deal. I really don't like to buy anything that doesn't have weight or fineness on it. And so this says uh, one ounce of three nines fine silver. So uh, really nice generic bar pickups and happy to have been able to add five ounces of generic silver weight to the stack. So next I was able to purchase 20 ounces of coins from my local coin shop and uh, really happy to have uh, been able to find these there. But uh, let me get these out of the tube and I'll talk a little bit about what this coin is. So here we have all the coins freed from the tube. Let's have a closer look. We'll start here with the obverse. You can see right here there is a dollar amount, so it is a uh, coin, not a round. This is a St. Helena, Queen Elizabeth II, 2022 coin, and towards the bottom, one ounce, three nines, fine silver. Of course, there is the queen right in the center. As we have a look at the reverse, this is the Pegasus coin, which is a pretty cool design. I do really like the design. And to the bottom of the Pegasus, you can see some initials. And that's where this coin gets really interesting. Those in initials are JN for Jenny Norse. Now, if you're into coins, especially U.S. coins, you might know that Jenny Norse actually designed the Type 2 American Gold Eagle. Uh, that's her design on the back, that, that eagle. And here is another one of her designs, this time on a coin uh, not from the U.S., so the East India Trade Company. Uh, had a lot to do with producing this coin for uh, St. Helena. So, uh, very interesting. I do like uh, Jenny Norse's designs, so I thought that was really cool. Another uh, another coin with her design on it, and she's done uh, well in uh, both designs that I've seen so far, in my opinion. So, this brings us to <laughs> the mail call that I have for tonight. I do have uh, one mail call to do. A community member sent me this box, so uh, let's check it out. All right, so we have a letter that was sent along. Let's check that out. It says, Silverstruck, always enjoy your content and love seeing your vintage silver collection. Keep up the great work. Thought you might like this 1977 Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II Silver Jubilee Medal. The case is in rough shape, uh, but the medal is a beauty. JD saving the past. 
Well, that is absolutely fantastic, JD. Thank you so much. And uh, I really like your uh, your handwriting. <laughs> this is excellent handwriting, uh, not like my own. Uh, so uh, fantastic. Thank you so much for this letter. And let's check out what he sent along. And it is this right here. So here we have the medal he was talking about. As you can see, it has Queen Elizabeth here on the front of it, or the obverse. And it has 1952 to 1970, Silver Jubilee. And it says, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So fantastic. And then we flip it over to its reverse. And you can see here that it says, uh, starting from the right to left, celebrating the Silver Jubilee of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, quite a nice design indeed. This is a very generous gift. It's something that I wasn't on my radar. I did see this on one of his videos. So if you're not familiar with JD uh, Saving the Past, I'm going to leave a, a link in the description to this video. He has a fantastic collection of some really deep stack type stuff that he's collected over many, many years. I do enjoy listening to uh, his content and the stories that he tells. So if you're into history and uh, learning from others uh, that have uh, been, a while, been around a while, I should say, collecting uh, coins and uh, vintage uh, bars and all sorts of different things, then uh, JD is a great channel to check out. Um, I'd highly recommend giving his channel a, uh, a look and uh, checking out some of the videos that uh, JD's put together. He does a great job. And thank you so much, JD. Uh, this means a lot. Appreciate it. All right, folks, that's going to do it for Channel Chat episode number 24. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please check out some of the online options we have here on YouTube. You might find them very entertaining. Uh, and SC Stacker is a good place to start. Uh, I do frequent his auctions, uh, so you might even see me there. And I'd also like to uh, give a big shout out and thanks to JD Saving the Past. This is just a, a wonderful gift, and I really appreciate what he does here on YouTube with all the stories and history that you can learn from him. So again, his link is in the description, as is SC Stackers. These are two great guys uh, to check out here on YouTube. Please don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.